let's check out my latest Nerf gun purchase. Looks pretty sweet. Let's give thanks and appreciation to my channel members. Oh, what? My channel members, where'd they go? Did I like drop it or something? Where, where could it be? Oh, what is that? Huh? I gotta shoot that balloon down to save my channel members. Yeah, that was not far enough. We are gonna need to make some improvements. I'm gonna leave the white one stock and modify this blue one so we can compare them at the end. The first thing that I had to do was open up the blaster by throwing it into the dryer and running the unscrew cycle. All right, so what do we got going on in here? So this is everything all together. So in the back, there's a pump that looks like this. And then what you do is you pressurize it by pumping it up. The dart goes in the front. And then when you shoot it with this, Ooh. Yeah. Then so how you how going to modify? The first thing that I did was chop off the original barrel and underneath that was the air restrictor. Its job is to prevent you from putting things other than foam darts into the barrel, but it also restricts the flow of air a lot, so we're gonna get rid of it. I wanted to replace the original barrel with this new aluminum barrel, but the fit was initially a bit loose. So I went over to my computer and I designed and 3D printed a little adapter sleeve to make everything nice and snug. I didn't permanently attach the barrel to the tank because I wanted to be able to easily remove it and load darts from the rear. The new barrel would let us take full advantage of the air coming out of the tank and hopefully get us better ranges. All that was left to do was give it a try. Okay, so we put four pumps and we've got the new barrel. Let's see if we can hit the balloon. My first shot actually landed really close to the balloon, but not quite close enough. The natural thing to do was to add more pumps, but there was a problem. Starting at the fourth pump, the pump sound changes, and you can hear air leaking past the pump seal and not making it into the tank. Yeah. This is because the manufacturers have put an overpressure relief valve in the head of the pump to make sure that you don't pressurize the tank more than they want you to. It's simple enough to disable this though. All it took was a big bead of hot glue right on top of that valve. Now it can never open and we can put as much air into the tank as we want. Okay, now that we plugged the pump, we can go up to eight pumps. Let's see if that gives us enough power to reach the dart. That went less far. Ooh, this dart kind of broke. My theory was that as the dart began to exit the barrel, there was still so much air pressure behind it that it caused the dart to expand and eventually burst and therefore not fly as far. To fix this problem, I thought I could switch to a longer barrel so that the air pressure at the point of exit is less and the dart has a lot more time to build speed. Let's find out. That was even less far! Is 
Same thing. This one looks more cracked than the previous one. At this point, it was clear that this blaster and foam darts just didn't get along. It was time to take matters into my own hands and pop that balloon by any means necessary. Huge shout out to all of my channel members for their regular and direct support. If you want to be featured just like this in all of my future videos, you can consider becoming a channel member. Uh, and with that, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, Fade to Black, bye-bye.